Mr. Jim is waiting for you for a disturbance call over here, Broadway Bank of America now. Is it a, disturb a disturbance now because the suspect's doing push ups? I guess the one concert's on scene now, so you guys can make contact and go from there. 123 to 122. Do you need a third officer for this? I don't know. He sounds pretty in shape, but I think we can handle it. Just an incredibly drunk man breaking into his own apartment, North 5. Car City 12 and 13 for a disturbance. East Charleston. Car City 13 and 12, you're calling parking assistance with her 8 year old son who's hitting her with toys. It's going to be a nation now, four foot thin build, black shorts, purple shirt. Parsi 12, am I reading correctly? It's her eight year old son. Yes, you are. That's for all of us. I guess 112, do you mind serving for this Wolford check, Dur and Hiram, and some in the back? 112, this is the person dancing in the street. Uh, they're doing yoga in the street, yeah. 10 4, I'll be 36. 4 and 6 to start for DV at 44 South Jade. Our calling party says that his wife is bothering him and he is threatening to beat her with a cane. The calling party is 70 year old white male, 5'7, medium build, wearing blue jeans and no shirt. Drives a 2005 Trailblazer. He does have a 9mm with him. And then his wife is 60 year old white female, 5'5, five, five, thin build, wearing blue jeans and a fluorescent jacket. And her vehicle is a 2008 Blue Santa Fe. Which side units have a request for assistance? K96 at 295th westbound. K96 at 295th westbound. It's going to be a St. Francis Ministries vehicle, a white Nissan Altima. Occupied by a female staff member who had a nine-year-old female getting physical, pulling hair, throwing a temper tantrum. She has locked the nine-year-old out of the vehicle on the side of K96 and is requesting assistance. Any unit that can respond? 355, which town you might see if Mount Hope or the county's got some busy and take a while for us to get all the way out there. Yeah, this is a disturbance in 96 and 295th. Uh, St. Francis worker had her hair pulled by a 9-year-old, so she has locked a 9-year-old out of the car on the side of 96. And troopers are heading up there, and they wanted to see if uh, that might be a minute. Uh, just you said if uh, somebody might be able to assist. You did if I send one out there until troopers can resolve the issue with the nine-year-old. Yeah, I haven't run a 39 since she walked out of the car around 96. 10 yeah, 4 one I have start for 96 and 295th and 39. Holding a disturbance, 2999 North Greenwich. And there when there was a group of teenagers fighting, a male tried to pull it apart, but it hit her son instead. Suspect is a Hispanic male, 40 to 50 years old, 5'2 to 5'3, heavy build, says the whole team now got into a fight. He's wearing a hat, blue jeans, gray hoodie, and white shoes. And then it looks like she now is saying Colin Perry's husband and suspect are now fighting. 146 and 46, calling party now says that suspect is trying to hit her. Call taker says there's several people in the background making a lot of noise. Looks like suspect is in the parking lot. Calling party is apparently following suspect. They're both on foot. Calling party is a Hispanic female. 46, how many people do you have involved in this disturbance? Well, it sounds like at one point we had both full-on soccer teams fighting each other. Now we have one of the... Now it looks like we have parents of the kids in the soccer team fighting. Units en route to the sports complex. Our call takers at the P is showing them in the northwest fields right by the parking lot edge. Calling party said suspect is going to field number six. Calling party subject and husband are in the van in the parking lot. She's stating the suspect and her husband started fighting when pulling subject away, and then calling party also hit the suspect. I did ask her to go inside and meet the building. It looks like she's not responding to that. And uh, 132 and 33 can you start for this Walford check? Kellogg in a whole set of two kids having a lightsaber battle on Kellogg. Yeah, we had two callers on this. Our first con party says there are two teen 
a 10-year-old on the median of Kellogg fighting with lightsabers. Again, both white males, 10 thin bills, and one had a black shirt, one had a red shirt. Another Colin Purdy said two young men, westbound and Kellogg, having a lightsaber battle in between eastbound and westbound lanes. They were at the Wind Series Stadium. He was it. That was it. He was just dancing. Nobody had contact him when he's bound. Does anybody need to go out there for that? No, we're not the uh, bad dancing police. No one. Jeremy, 1045, 3200 North Rock. 3200 North Rock, go ahead. It's going to be a paper tag. David, 329. On a Cadillac stand. 10-4-I, we'll see if North has anyone. 10 4 North is driving the officer that direction also. This patrol on their traffic stop, 3200 North Rock Road. It's going to be a caddy sit down. Three, they're running. Which direction? They're going to be west on 32nd Street North. Are you going to take a right in one fellow court? It'll be 32 of them. Cars are traffic. Man, the odor of marijuana is getting cool. Speeds are about 60. You have the driver identified? 10 4 I have his driver's license and a passenger. Oh, Davis. Long and 32nd Street. I've lost that of them. Go ahead, 22. 10 4 3, where are you 10 4 22? Not for chair 22. All units are not for chair 2, so then 22 vehicles off the unit, 32nd and was long going westbound. It was a silver Cadillac sitting on the contact. Mark, that's the answer.